What's up guys, in this short tutorial I will show you how to fix a high ping and latency spikes while playing Valorant. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions then leave a comment and let me know. So first of all, open up Valorant and navigate to your video settings. Here in the stats tab, make sure to enable the packet loss and network round trip time settings. I prefer to set these to text only, but this will come down to personal preference. This will help you troubleshoot where your network related issues are coming from. If the problem persists after making these next changes, then the issue might be related to the game's servers. After applying your changes, close the game and then you should test your connection on speedtest.net or on any other speed testing service. A link will be in the description below. If your latency is exceeding 100 milliseconds, then you will have to make a few changes to your connection. Make sure to use an Ethernet cable to ensure the best possible connection. If you have to use a Wi-Fi connection, then make sure to restart your router or modem if you haven't done this in a while and reduce the amount of devices connected to the same network. Next, open up your commands prompt by searching for CMD and hitting enter. The next two commands are listed in the description below. Ping google.com this command will check your latency and packet loss to Google servers, which should have improved after restarting your router or using an Ethernet cable. Use the command ipconfig slash flush DNS. This will flush and reset the content of your DNS resolver cache. Using this command will in any case improve your latency issues. You can now exit out of your command prompt and open up your task manager. Here. Navigate to your resource monitor, as you can see in the video. In the network tab, open up the processes with network activity. And after a few seconds, you will see every process using your network connection. This might be your browser running in the background, Steam, or a download bottlenecking your connection. I suggest you to only add the processes which you know won't break your operating system. Below, you can also preview your network utilization in percent. In your task manager, go to the startup tab to prevent other programs from starting up on system boot. And as always, make sure that your operating system is up to date to get the most out of your system. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.